Hello everyone, uh, welcome into my Euro Truck Simulator 30 miles per hour anywhere challenge. After the last journey where we was in Aberdeen, we travelled down to Carlisle. I can't remember what we delivered in the last one. We've got on board 16 tons of carrots and we're going to be travelling to Manchester, which is near my hometown. But we're going to get on our way. It's quite an easy journey, straight down the M6, down the M62, or it may even be M6, M61. So what we'll do is we'll get on our way, but before we do, if you like what you're seeing, be advised if you'd subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notifications for any further videos, and hit the like button, it helps promote my little channel that little bit more. Get on in the passenger seat, it's going to take a while, and we'll get on our way down to Manchester. I hope I'm going out the right way here. Not used to seeing that wall. I know it's just been upgraded. Um. Normally a chain link fence that's there. I have to admit, even with the update, the graphics do look a lot better, look a lot smoother. Hopefully they've done something about the AI. Engine sounds a lot better as well.
Road markings seem to be a lot better. They've uh, done some work on it. I'm not sure all the work that they've done on it, but it seems to be uh, running a lot better. The scenery looks a lot better. Now in this all I can do is travel at 30 miles per hour or below. The only time that I will go over 30 miles an hour is when the speed limiter is not restricted. Um, that when I go downhill, no restrictor on the limiter. I will go over 30. Well, we're on the M6, we're going southbound. Going towards Liverpool and Manchester. I live about 12 miles outside of Manchester. Be by the speed going downhill, I'm doing 31. That's about as fast as I can go. Decided to do this challenge because it's okay getting everywhere on time and doing 40, 50, 60, 70 miles per hour. But I thought it'd be a bit more challenging to try and get these deliveries there on time when I'm only doing 30 miles an hour. Should really have owl plates on my bike. The good thing about it is I don't gain a lot of penalties speeding and putting red lights and for accident. I'm not going fast enough. We'll see how far we can build this company up. I do cause a lot of tailbacks on 
on some of the uh, minor roads. Oh dear me, oh, oh good grief. <laughs> oh dear me, I'm not used to driving in that. Uh... Not used to driving on those outside angles. But it's not my truck, so I don't care. And there's me just. Picking myself up saying I don't get a lot of penalties and then I'm going crashing to the wall. Now what I want what I would think it'd be better for SCA to do in the next update is when you do crash and you do get damage that they do have um, damage on where it shows parts of the truck that are crumpled or a smashed windscreen anything like that um, headlights that get damaged you've got a curtain inside a trailer rips in the trailer I know it could be a lot to ask I used to work in the transport industry. I worked in the transport industry for 20 odd years, about 20 years, um, driving all over the country. I used to drive a van. I used to deliver shower units to builders, merchants, and to stop shops. I really enjoyed it, loved it. Maybe one day I'll go back to it. I'm still in the distribution industry myself at the moment. <laughs> Never take your finger out of the pie. I've spent many years I've done many hundreds of thousands of miles traveling all over the UK I've only ever driven abroad once and that was last year when I was in Greece 
which I found a bit weird at the first because everything's left hand drive and everything's on your right hand side and but after a while you get used to it, I got used to it after a bit So we're currently 49 miles away from Manchester. In theory, travelling at 60 miles an hour, it should take us three quarters of an hour. With me travelling at 30 miles an hour, it will take us about an hour and a half. Don't forget to give my American Truck Simulator career a look. Uh, that's another playlist I've got. That's not a 30 mile per hour limit, that's just trying to build a company up from scratch. Um, no bank loans, all self funded. That's running side by side with this and also I do have an FSX career mode ongoing as well. So be advised if you if you'd give those a look. All down to your personal preference. Going to be coming off at this junction onto the M62.
currently 16 miles away. Should arrive there at around 10 past midnight. Difficulty is parking up in the dark. I don't like reversing. I don't like reverse parking as it is. I'm not not really that good at it. I've got better as time has gone on. But I am not that good at it. Coming off at this junction. Turning left at these traffic lights. Just uncovered a Scania dealer. Well, we've not uncovered it. Gone past it. Not registered. Be right at this next roundabout.
What I'll do is I'll turn the truck round here. When I have a look at this parking space, uh, a bit easier for ourselves. Almost there. I think we're in. Not too bad. Quite quick for me, that. Well, we drove the 129 miles. Apart from that, there was no damage to the truck, even though I did hit the wall. So we earned 290 XP points, 3,480 euros. We're currently in level 7, leveling up to level 8. We're 1,226 points away. So for buggy transport, um, we've got 70,000 euros. We'll just keep doing these little journeys and there's new upgrades available for the trucks, for the trailers and we'll just carry on until we can afford our own truck once we get our own truck then we can start thinking about branching out, making these journeys a little bit further making a bit more money so with that I'll join you next time when we take our journey from Manchester to wherever. I'll join you next time and happy trucking.